everyone. I'm Dottie and this is Dolores. She's I'm back. back. Mm -hmm. And welcome to Floss Tube number 164. Today is Friday, March the 15th, 2024. I know it's not my usual day, but you got to catch her when you can or you got to catch me when you can. So anyway, thank you so much for those of you that subscribed and the ones that like us. Yay. Yay. <clears throat> and we hope you'll come back. And we've got a lot to show. We've got fully finished items, past finished, fully, fully finished items. We've got what else? Um, we've got things that we're working on. Whips. Whips. And then I have one that um, it's finished, but it is not fully finished. Yes. And we've got a free pattern. Right. And we've got, uh, hmm, what else? Oh, a featured Etsy shop and Dolores has haul. Mm. Ooh. Oops. That's going to be fun. <clears throat> so, let's get started. First of all, I would like to shout out the Camping Stitcher. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it. And also, Garon Stitchery. And if you want to get your patterns, I mean, go there. They have like a whole plethora mm -hmm. of stuff. I mean, they have a lot of good stuff and their service is really quick. So be sure and check them out if you don't have a local needlework store. All right, um, and watch their floss tubes. Chris has a great floss tube and she's also a designer on Etsy too. So um, a lot of people did her blessing sampler uh, for the January blessing uh, thing. I didn't get mine finished. Mm, mm. Yeah. But it's, it's it's gonna, it's gonna, yeah. Okay, so anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, let's show some past finishes, and I'm gonna let Dolores go first. I'm gonna be Ooh. kind today. All right, well, I think this is a pine mountain. Um, it's the pillow, and um, you get the pillow, the, the pillow, not the pillow inside, but the outside, and the threads, and um, and when you when you finish it, you just tie it on and show it. And, you know, put it on the couch and dare somebody to sit on it. It's called Lucky by Taiwan. It's Taiwan on Lucky by Pine Mountain Designs, and it's on ten count Tula. See, I told you she knows it all. No, I just have that. <laughs> okay, she does have this one. <laughs> Listen, it's funny because we almost have to pull out the same thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is another one. That's March. It's one of those monthly series from Pine Mountain. And I don't know if that one's available anymore. You'd have to check with Pine Needles, uh, the shop in um, Utah. But uh, it's on 10 Count Tula also. How many strands of, of floss did you use? Three or four? Probably three. Mm-hmm. It's very pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> each, but it's 10 count. Yes, each month I have a um, Ziploc bag and I pull each month out and put them on the pillows and uh, put them away and then wait for the next month. Mm -hmm. And we're back. I, okay, we're back. All right, this here is a flip it. Flip it. This is a flip it. And it's for St. Patrick's, and I've got all this, all the different holidays, and um, I just flip them out each month and put them on my um, on my sofa table. So these are fun, and they're 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 quickies. So uh, and this one's on fourteen count, and Ada. it's it's an Ada, and uh, it's a Lizzie Kate pattern, a flip it pattern, flip it of the holiday flip it's or something like that. Yes. And I just love these. I always have, have something out for the seasons. And then this one here is the March. And it's a monthly series flip it. <clears throat> and this one's also on 14 count Ada. Yes. So I have all of these. And this one was done in 2002. And then this one, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think it came as a kit. That's cute. And I just love it. It's just so cute. 
and also put this on the sofa table also. And you don't know who that's by? Mm hmm You don't know who that's by? Mm -hmm. I don't know who that's know by either, that. so I don't know everything. <laughs> Almost everything. <laughs> no, but no. But anyway, I just saw this and I thought it was so cute. But then when I was going through all my stuff, I was like, I don't have a lot of the St. Patrick's. So um, I think I'm going to start looking for some St. Patrick's to do. Now, this is real, real old. This was a calendar that a friend had gave me years ago. And it's a needlepoint. And each month, each month, it had a different a needlepoint pattern and then they had this here that you use for the uh, border yeah and so um I thought this one was real cute it's really cute yeah and that one's done on it's done on canvas and she did the tent stitch yes that's the only thing and I she's got do. some Smyrna crosses oh yeah <clears throat> See, and then it had all the little charms, which was mm -hmm. really, really cute. And it's really pretty. And that calendar, I remember, it was something kind of like the Keepsakes Cross Stitch calendar, uh, but it was a needlepoint calendar. And mm -hmm. I don't know if they have that anymore or not. I've never seen it since then. Have you? Uh, I haven't seen it since mm -mm. then. Mm -mm. Um, so sometimes I might bring a piece of needlepoint that I've done. Um, because I do have a couple of pieces that I really, really, really love. But it's needlepoint's not my thing, cross stitch is. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have. That's all you have. Oh my that's goodness. That's all I have. <clears throat> okay, so staying a little bit Irish, we mm -hmm. have the Shepherd's Bush uh, Luck. It says a bit of Irish luck, and this is also done on 10 count tua. I think the color is oatmeal, and I did not finish this myself. I actually paid somebody, and she doesn't do finishing anymore, so mm. I won't mention her name, but she did a really, really good job, and I used three strands of floss, and the buttons are from just another button company. Oh, I love it. So, <clears throat> wow. All right, and the next thing is from Tiny Modernist. And I did this one last year. You might remember it. Um, this is the little Irish mouse, the St. Patrick's Day mouse. And I think she's so cute. She's the first one that I did. And she's on, um, hmm, I would say that's probably 32 count linen. I may be wrong. And I put some green rickrack around it. And it's on a uh, mat board with some green fabric. And I painted my paddle board green and put a jute bow on there. And I'm, I've got it on here with magnet, with a magnet and a washer. So you can just put it on here and uh, it can be cricket. Uh, <laughs> okay, but just I, can, tilt your I head. can change them out because I've started collecting the little mouse patterns because they are so, so, so cute. So anyway, tiny modernist and it's mouse, St. Patrick's Day mouse or something. I'm not sure. You see, right. look, if, if it's tilted a little bit, just go. Yeah. Okay, and that's all my past FFOs. Just that one, the, the, no, those are uh, those okay. are current. So now oh, Dolores okay. has a finish. So oh, we're yes. gonna show her finish. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on. All right, this is Dolores's finish. It um it's Yankee Doodle Oscar and let me show you the pattern. Let's do that. Yeah, there you there go. There you go. And it's from Finally a Farm Girl. Yes. And one thing about this pattern that called for a lot of French knots. Honey, I am not doing all them French knots. So I I instead of doing the French knots, I put whisper thread, which I really don't like to look use whisper because you can only cut it like in six inches and sew it and then cut another six inches. Um, but I thought it really, really looked real cute on this uh, little kitty. And also it saw the little mouse over here saying vote. And this is a terrific piece for this year. And it was a, it was a fun, fun stitch. And finally, a farm girl, Chrissy, 
has a wonderful floss tube and she has some beautiful, beautiful patterns in her Etsy shop. So be sure and go check those out too if you can't find them at your local needlework shop. Well, that's the only one that I have a finish on. Okay, so <clears throat> I finally, finally, finally found some ribbon and a trim mm -hmm. for my Halloween mystery from Hands On Design. Oh, and I actually tied the bow myself. Mm -hmm. And this is Halloween from uh, Kathy Haber Haberman of uh, Hands On Design. And I got a little spider button and I stuck it on there with two different kinds of ribbon. And I got some rickrack on here uh, wow. that came with a kit. And this is on her, um, no, this was on a piece of fabric I had. I put it on a piece <laughs> of comic board and I bought this black um, plaque from um, mm, Homestead Needleworks, I think. Uh -huh. But anyway, um, and that's an Etsy shop also. Uh, they have really nice plaques and it's a finish. Oh, I like and so that. I'm ready for next Halloween. I missed this Halloween because I just couldn't figure out what kind of bow to put it on. And I used all the call for threads and two strands. Mm, so there's that. I like it. And I couldn't show you the pattern because it was just a graph. Mm. Okay, next, uh, I was in the Dying to Stitch um, Berry of the, of the Quarter Club. And this is uh, the Gold Finch. This was one of the last ones that they sent out. And it's by Erica Michaels. It was the Bird Song Berry Club. Mm. If I'd read the bottom, I'd know. But I got my little berry finished. It's been Ooh. stitched for a long time. And there's my little Gold Finch. And there's that. And these berries are easy to finish. All you gotta do is sew up the back and then you stuff it, and I've got it stuffed with walnut shells or lizard litter, and then you just cut your little felt uh, leaves out, and I stitched all these down and found a button in my stash that I got at some retreat from somebody, and there you go. And this one's wow. on 32 count, yeah it is, uh, 30, 36 count, excuse me, Berry Brew Linen, which was an exclusive for this club, by R&R &R Reproductions, and it used all the week's dye works, and uh, the white was DMC. So there you go. It's a finish, it's yay! Pretty. Then, I was on a berry kick, and I had this berry done for a long time, and I, I had to order the wool to finish it, because I didn't have any red wool. And this is from the Bristol Berries number three collection. I didn't do all three of them yet, I did the Bible one. This was the first berry mm. I ever did. No, the second berry I ever did. And I filled it up with, uh, there's my finish, and I filled it with walnut shells about halfway and put some um, polyfill in it and then uh, finished fi filling it up and I used two pieces of red. I did mm. not sew this top one down because I didn't like the way, I, di I just didn't think I'd like the way it looked. And then I found a white button and put on the top of it. Mm. And this is, what I got done. Okay. All right. And I'm going to do the other two berries, just not right now. She does such beautiful work, too. Oh, she wants something. I wonder <laughs> what that could be. I wonder <laughs> if it would be her pillow that she wanted me to do. <laughs> Which, where in the heck did I put the thing? I hid it from her. She hasn't seen it. I haven't seen it. And what's the name of the pattern? Do you remember? The name of your pillow? No. It's Be Mine from Brenda Gervais. I looked it up. <laughs> there you go. Oh. So now you can hold look. it up. Now we talked oh. about what she wanted and she saw the fabric. Oh, so, look. So there you go. So it's Be Mine. And it's got little hearts on the back. Oh. Yeah, they're not iron friendly. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Thank you, friend. Oh, you're oh. welcome. Now tell them about your pattern. They don't care about the finishing. They just care about the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> the pattern? What do you mean? You know, your stitch pattern. Tell them oh, about it. Oh, um, it was, I, I don't remember. I just well, did them. It's on. Oh, okay. 
32 count or 28 count? 28 count. 20 count um, Lagana, and I used, um, I think I used the Cawthorn colors, and um, I don't know if I used a DMC on this or not. It looks like it looks, DMC. It looks like it, does. it looks like DMC. So anyway, it's Be Mine by Brenda Gervais. I've seen a couple of people do theirs, but I, I thought this fabric caught her red in there really pretty. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you, friend. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, I love it. You're welcome. Mm. I'm glad you do. Okay, so that is all of our uh, finishes or FFOs this week. So I'm doing the FFO challenge with the Two Tall Stitchers and Penny's Daughter Shares. Be sure and go watch their floss tube too. Um, it's, uh, when you tag them, it's hashtag FFO challenge 2024. And you can uh, tag um, Jen Quilter at Jen Quilter on Instagram and at Penny's Daughter Shares. You wanna start showing some of your whips now? Oh, my lips. Yeah, we'll see what we got here. All right. Um, now, y'all have seen these, but I am working on them. Um, I'm going to pin it to this. Okay. Here, hang it to me, and I'll do it while you tell about the pattern. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You know, I'm the beach girl. Okay. The, the beach is calling. Let me see if I can get it where it's in there. Ooh, that baby. looks great. There. Okay. The beach is calling. And um, it's a nice size piece. Um, I have got, oops, let me see if I can get in the picture. All right, um, this side is completely finished. You want me to hold it for you while you talk about it? There we go, is that better? Okay, and then I did up here, and then this castle, I mean sand castle. Um, I had to rip the whole thing out. Mm -hmm. So I've got it going and it's right now. Oh, that's good. So anyway, I tried to finish it last night, but I was just too exhausted. Um, but this is almost finished here and then, but I had started here. And so I only really like this side over here. So I'm really excited to get it finished. I like your waves at the bottom. And what is yeah. this pink thing? Um, the pink thing right there. Let me think. Oh, it's a seashell. Never yeah, mind. It's, it's got shell. long stitches over it. Okay. Yeah. And then it's got up here. It's going to have a up up here. It's going to have a crab, and then you got a lobster down in here, and then some beach houses down here, and a Jeez. seagull, and a dock. Wow. So it's really there's a lot on this particular one. So oh, I really I really enjoy doing this one. Um, and I get tired of something, so I go to another one and work on it. So that's the reason I don't get anything really finished all at one time because I'm constantly changing, changing, you know, what I'm doing. And excuse it, I did not iron. I did not even think about ironing. Well, it's oh. okay. We're allergic to the iron, you know. I am. <laughs> but okay. I, I have had to buy several irons during the year, you know, years. <laughs> <laughs> but this other one's lasted me a long time. Okay, this here is some um, um, summer music. Summer music uh, by Waxy Moon, and um, I'm doing the the one right here. It says, uh, "God, whatever you're baking outside, it's done." <laughs> so. Anyway, I really, really like this, and this was a retreat project. And so, um, I want to try to get this one done, put it by sunroom. And, uh, cloth, mm -hmm. cloth. the cloth is, the fabric's Lagana, isn't it? It's 28 count. It's not Lagana though, it's I don't not. think. It's just an even weave. It's an even yeah. weave. Yeah. See, I told you she knows it all. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Listen, I just buy the material, I buy the thread, I buy the pattern, and I stitch it, and then I ask Dottie what I've got. Um, but anyway, all I like is this right up here. And so this one will be finished, and um, hopefully I'll get it done soon. So anyway, 
It's a fun one. I've enjoyed it. All right. Okay, and I believe you've got one more. I've got one more. She's really been working hard on these to try to get them done. Okay, ooh, this is on that stiff fabric. It's, oh, and I do not like that stiff fabric. You could stand this one up in the corner. <laughs> oh, it, oops. Uh -oh. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm telling you, fun times here. We just keep dropping stuff. It wouldn't be a video if we didn't drop something. <clears throat> this is London's Place um, Summer Breeze. And uh, this one's fun. I, I love the colors. It, it just... It just, it's just happy colors. So anyway, I'll work on this a little bit and and, uh, and then uh, go to something else. And so anyway, this is uh, happy colors and it's done with uh, sulky threads, which I love working with sulky threads. And so this is how much I've got done on it. And the only thing I really like on here is the seagull up here and another palm tree. And this piece will be finished. And trust me, I will not work on this fabric anymore. It's a 32 count. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I just, it's just too stiff. I just don't, I don't feel, it just doesn't feel comfortable to work with. Now, did you use one thread or two threads? With, um... Well, in sucky thread, you only use one thread. Okay. So, um, and uh, I really like sulky threads. So, anyway, this one's a fun stitch. And, and that's so, all the whips that's from a, Dolores. Except what I got at home. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now, we're going to take a break from whips for a minute. And uh, we're going to talk about our free pattern. I have two today, but for, they're from the same place. So you get more bang for your buck. Okay, this one's called Sally Snow Lady. Just in case it snows again. But it is snowing some places. And this is just the cutest little thing for people that like to... Oh, goodness. For, oh, this is not good. For people that like to stitch on um, sleds. I'm sorry about the ring light and the window. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is not good. Let's see. If we do that. Oh yeah, that works. Okay. I'll just tilt it down. Okay. And the next pattern. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Grinning like the Cheser cat here. Okay. And the other free pattern is also from Stony Creek. You just go on their website, which I will link below. And you do like what's new or free pattern, you'll click on that, but I'll have the link below for you. But this one is so cute and Eastery. Let me do that down. There we go. It says New Life. And this is in a series of three. And of course, I didn't check them January and February, but you can buy those other two that are pictured right here if you want to when you order those. But I love the little nest and the, the robin's eggs. So, so pretty. But I'll link that below. <clears throat> okay. All right. So we're going to talk about some works in progress. Ooh, that's precarious. Okay. The first thing, um, you hadn't seen this one in a while. And you know, when you go to the attic, you fall down the 56 count hole. And oh. Jean talks you into, into well, she doesn't, she talks you into it very subtly. She has all these beautiful, beautiful things stitched in 56 count. And you think, ooh, I want to do that. So mm -hmm. I picked up Emily Foster, Emily Ann Foster, 1892. And I said I was going to get it done really quick. Well, I lied because, you know, I squirreled around. But there's this Seraphim Chai, and it's 56 count. And this is what I've got done. I've only worked on it about three times since I got it, even though I said, oh, I'm going to work on this every day. And I apologize mm -hmm. for the thread. I'm using uh, a Vera Soir and... Uh, that is what I've got. I'm using one strand over two threads. And I didn't do the best ironing job either. I gave it a lick and a promise. So, but this is Seraphim Chai. And I got this at the attic when I went to summer school. I can't even see that. There you go. It wasn't too bad. You get used to it. <clears throat> you do. You really do. Yeah, you do. She's telling me I don't. <laughs> she, I can't do it. 
But uh, if you have good light and magnification, Gosh, so you pretty. can do it. And I thought, you know, if Jean and Carolyn can do it and other people can do it, I can do it. So but it's it's the back. It's not too bad. Don't Look show them the back. back. The back looks good. No, it doesn't. Yes, it, it does. Dizzy. Okay, moving wow. right along. Moving right along. And that's from Hands Across the Sea. I forgot to say that. Okay, next <laughs> we have Thread Keeper by Little House Needleworks. Now, I did this one last time as a new start, okay? And this is all I've got done. I didn't have much stitching time this week because I did more finishing than stitching. So I need to finish the word thread and do the border. And I think I'm going to leave the table out because I don't much care for the way it looks. This is on a 28 count even weave. Mm. And it's like a khaki kind of color or some kind of beige. It was something I had in my stash. That's so it was just a little like scrap that. off something. I like it. <clears throat> so... There's that. Then the next thing, if I ever finish this, is from Stony Creek. And this is the Lord's Prayer. And yeah, I'm up here. Yeah, I'm ready to start this. I've started the border. And this is on 32 count. Um, yeah, once again, I can't remember. I want to say it's Winter Brew from r, &R Reproductions. But this is what I've got it's done. Gorgeous. And see, I started the border right here. And I did finally get this finished. I had to rip out a good bit, but eh, it was okay. But that's another reason I don't have a lot done. But I'm using two strands over two threads. So the Lord's Prayer. That so is beautiful. Well, thank you. Aww. I like the bright colors. And some people, you know, they like to use one strand over two threads on 32 count. But mm -hmm. I like the rich, deep colors. So I'm using two strands. I like two strands. And like if it's picture of this plus, though, one strand. Because it's mm -hmm. it's a tight weave. Okay, next, uh, we're going to talk about well, my little, little, little can't even talk. My whip go projects, because I'm still doing whip go. I'm struggling, people, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, four days I've worked on this. Four. This is Elizabeth Garrod, and it's $17.99. And the reason I chose it was because it's green, and it looks like an Irish sampler. Now, what I'm going to do, I've decided I'm going to put some Irish, some Gaelic words down here, yet to be determined. And I don't know what I'll do about the year, if anything. I may just leave that off, or I may just put 2024. Who knows if it gets done in 2024. But what I like about these little graphs is they're big, easy to see, and they tell the story about the girl. And on the back, it tells you how big everything's going to be and what they used. And I used a very swath, one strand over two threads. <clears throat> And I'm using 36 count, no, th yeah, 36 count. And you'll have to look at the last video because for the life of me, the little card fell out and I don't remember. But anyway, this is what I've got. I think it's up in the attic, but I may be mistaken. I have taken this border, this last border out. It should have been finished two times over, but, um, after a while, there's a page break right in between the two, the top of it and the bottom. And that's like an optical illusion. So I should have the sampler done, but I had to do the border and it had to be right. It just had to. So that's what I've got. So anyway, but I can't wait to get this one done. Ooh, yes. So um, what count is that? I think it's 36, but it may be 32. Okay. I'm just That's really not like sure. Yeah, it probably is. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Nine by seven or seven by six. It's 32. It's 32. Yeah, yeah, because it's going to be like nine by seven. So I think that's why I chose 32 because it's going to be big enough to, you know, make an impression. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got four out of my five days. Surely I can stitch on that one more day this month. I was wanting to have it done by uh, St. Patrick's Day, but 
Hmm, say la vie, as, as they don't say in Ireland. <laughs> they say it in France, but not in Ireland. But anyway, <laughs> the light of winter is my other um, Whipgo project. Mm -hmm. And yet again, five days, and I think I have two days on this one. Hmm, yeah, and it's, it's called a bit Stitch time. a Little Bit, Rip a Little Bit, Stitch oh, okay. a Little Bit, Rip, rip a, a Little, little bit. bit. Yep, that's what we've done. And this is Ooh. on, this is on 36 Count Winter Brew by R&R &R Reproductions. And I've got the first page done, and I'm now on the second page. And I am so excited. I'm like, yay! And I see these people that have theirs done, and I'm like, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to get mine done. But I'm using the Weeks Dye Works, the DMC, and the Gentle Arts Embroidery Floss. And it's two strand, it's one strand over two threads because it's on 36 count. And hopefully, I've got three more days, and hopefully I'll get some more done. But I got all this done and this flower, and that was really a lot of fun to stitch. So, I still need to get the angel's eyes, and the flowers here need middles. And the flower here needs a center also. But other than that, that's it. Mm, I don't know why I leave the pretty. eyes to last, but Ooh, I do. Oh, that is so pretty. So, thank you. So, like anyway, that. three days to go. So, I got four days of stitching, and today's the 15th. So, you know, surely out of 16 days, I can do four days of stitching. And then maybe I can get some of my other works in progress caught up. Mm, that's so beautiful. Yes. Okay, now. Let's talk about the, well, let's, let's look at Dolores' haul. What'd you buy? Okay. Um, did you get anything from Market? No, I don't think so. Did I? I don't know. This came from, did that come from Market? That came from Market. That came from mm -hmm. Market. I didn't you did. You got from. your fabric and your oh, uh, that's thing. Right. Don't you remember? All right. I, yes, I did. She was very controlled. Yes. Well, you already see how much I've got at home. I was like, oh not my enough, gosh. not enough. <laughs> okay. You know I'm a camper. Okay, this is Campton Cross um cross stitch pattern, open road. And so, um anyway, um my daughter um and she's in one camper and then I'm in a smaller camper. She's in a fifth wheel and I'm on the tag along. And so anyway, I saw this here little pattern and it was just so cute and it says it says neighbors for a night <laughs> so anyway i don't have the fabric yet because i want to use a darker fabric but i thought that was so cute but usually when we camp we're there two weeks to a month so we're neighbors for a long time so, but anyway, I'm looking forward to doing this one. It is really, really cute. And you don't have to use, I mean, it says you can use your own thread, whatever it is. Um, is This is done on 28 or 14. And uh, it's framed by four by six. So it's kind of a little small thing, but it's, it's a cutie. And then um, when I was at um, Pandas, oh, let me show you what my fabric is that how did it's lupin lupin lupin, lupin loops 20 hoops hoops no it is lupin loops it, is it loops or, is or hoops a, i don't know it's i just, don't know that's the color though yeah it's it's graveyard mist and it's 28 count and um you know, you know when you look at a piece a piece of fabric if it catches your eye at that time and you go, mm, I really like that. Pick it up. You might not be able to buy it all, but pick it up. I couldn't buy it all, trust me. But anyway, it's it's got, okay. It almost looks like it doesn't have a pattern to it. Back up a little bit. A little bit. There you go. There now you go. can see the see, modeling. There's some modeling in it, but it's very light modeling. And I saw that and I went, let me get that part it's tagged up. <laughs> I don't want that that was <laughs> but anyway, um I, I saw this and I thought, oh, I've got to have it. So I went on and bought a pretty big piece. But I can use it in a lot of different things. So 
I'm very pleased with this one. It's very pretty. And it's a very pretty piece. I'll of be fabric. over to get my piece. Okay, you have a piece of it. <laughs> no, I'm piece. just teasing. I don't need any fabric. I would give I her a piece because she did my pillow. Oh, she doesn't have to do that. She doesn't have to do that. <laughs> okay. <Get this>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I've got a, um, now I got this from Pandas. Um, when I was buying this. Other That's our stuff. local needle workshop in Malden, and South Mal Carolina. Yes, and Donna is our um, is uh, owns the shop, and she's very very sweet. Um, known her a long long time. Okay, this year I've got a, you know, I'm going to a wedding, and um, it's, um, I just want a little piece of handwork that I can give along with something else. And so I found this little wedding by Lizzie Kay, and it's two hearts, one love, and then it's got a little key and the rings, and then it's got the uh, people's name and the and the date. And so anyway, I'm gonna do this, and it comes with the um, fabric and the key and the little rings. Hold it up so they can see it. Turn around so they can see the key. Yeah, there so you go. It's sick. So see, it's yeah, just you? it's just a little something to um, give you know a little piece of handwork. I'm not doing a big one. Little's good. Little, little. Yeah, good. good things come in small packages. See, that's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and you got this at Donna's too. Didn't I got you? this at Donna's too at Seaside, and it's um it's um hand. Hand, heart in hand, and um, <laughs> of course, you know what it is. It is also seagulls and birds and, and, fish. and fish and all kinds of little fish. stuff like that. They're just so cute. And if I do it, I can put it in my dough bowl. So, but anyway, this would be a super, super quick bench but I just like it. And then um, I went to, last time I was in uh, Irma, um, I went by Stitch and Kitten. And this, it's, her name's Rebecca and mm -hmm. Caroline. Okay, mm -hmm. I thought, it, I, I'm pretty sure it was Rebecca. They are so sweet to go in there mm -hmm. and they just are so friendly, and they help you. And in fact, the cat pattern I was looking for a cat or patriotic, and here comes Caroline. Oh, I found the perfect pattern for you. <laughs> so she really knows her patterns. So anyway, this is one of her designs. Um, it's pocket of love, and it's designed by Car uh, Caroline Davis Kelsey. And the only place you can get this one is at Stitch and Kitten. It's an exclusive. It's an exclusive. And it's a little kitten in a bag. And so anyway, it's really, really cute. And this is the thread, thread that um, you stitch the uh, little heart in. And it's a week's dye work. And, um, and it's a uh, berry splash. And uh, so anyway, this is going to be a, a fun, a fun stitch. So if you've been in Narmo, go by there. And if you're in Malden, go by um, um, Stitching Kitten and Stitching Kitten. Those are our two um, stores we really, really like. Okay, I like bags. I saw this bag, and it's Steno Stitches. And, um, I really liked it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to splurge and get it. It's a folder. This is the outside. And it has the snap. Snap it close. And when you open it up, it has the vinyl on one side with the zipper. And then this side over here has the pocket. And along with this, 
you get a needle minder. It's a button cover. And then you have your thread, you know, your thread, thread bear, bear, your, where you can put your needles and your threads and stuff like that. So anyway, it's really, really, a, it's really cute. I saw it and I went, okay, I've got to have it. Now, did you get this at Stitching Kitten or off Etsy? Stitch, Stitching Kitten. Okay. She All does right. have bags there too. And I did pick out another bag, but then when I saw this one, I went, ooh, I can't get both. Yeah, <laughs> we understand. But that's a project keeper. It's it a little is. bit different from a project bag because, you know, project bags zip. Yeah. And project keepers have the fold out and they snap and you can keep lots and of stuff. Also, when, if, you're, if you're taking this with you and, you know, usually you have to tuck the bag on your arm, you can kind of carry it like this. Mm -hmm. So I kind of I kind of like it when I you have a little stra a strap on any of them because you can carry it mm -hmm. much easier. So yes. anyway, that is all I've got. Well, that is very very nice. I don't believe I have any project bags like or project keepers like that. This is going to be my only one. Done. I have thread beds, <laughs> but no no uh, project keepers. Okay, now let's talk about our featured Etsy shop, and this is right. Star Stitch Store on Etsy. And she has patterns, um, <clears throat> and this one is the Cottontail and Company Pin Keep by Scattered Seed Ooh. Samplers. And, oh dear, here we go. We may not be able to, yeah, there we go. That is the little bunny. Isn't he cute? Look like a run-in chocolate bunny with a little alphabet. This is just not... There we go. That's a little bit better. I do apologize. It was too dark in the other room, so we came in here and I forgot about the windows. Okay, and next we have the Easter Bunny Apron by Sue Hillis Designs. Isn't that cute? All the little bunnies peeping out of the pockets. It'd be something good to do for a child. Oh, that's cute. And then we have uh, Gardeners Use Flowers as Paint, Soil and Sky as Canvas. And this one, it says, is a rare find. Mm -hmm. So if you're if this is on your unicorn list, you might want to get it. And unicorn list is a pattern that uh, you can't find that's out of print. Mm. Cottontail carrot patch by Sugar Stitches. And I think that was just precious. Just so, so, so cute. <clears throat> then we also have Be Mine by Leela Studio. And it's got a bigger pillow, and then it's got a small little pin pillow with it. Too, too cute. And we have uh, the Prairie Garden by The Drawn Thread. Now, this is definitely a unicorn pattern because I don't think it's available anymore. It looks like it's got specialty stitches. It's got a lot of... Drawn That's Thread is known like, ooh, for specialty yeah. stitches. Yeah, yeah, they are, They're but fun it's to beautiful. do, though. Then we have Those Who Sing by The Drawn Thread, and it says, Those Who Wish to Sing Find Ways, no, Something Find Song. Hmm. Sing, I do not know. <clears throat> so anyway, but isn't that pretty with all the birds? And that's a rare find also. I don't remember seeing that on their page either, so I think that one's discontinued. Mm, I like that one. Then Country Cottage Needleworks has Stop and Smell the Roses, and I don't think I've ever seen that one before either. Country Cottage Needleworks. Then we have Let All You Do Be Done With Love. It's got a pretty butterfly, and this is by mm. Leela Studio. It's called With Love. Sorry about the glare again. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Then we have a Biscornu, and this is from Just Nan. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. Bad, bad glare. Okay. I cannot seem to get it where it doesn't do the window. Let's go over here and see if that's better. <laughs> worse, worse. Okay, and last but not least, uh, this one, if I'm not mistaken, is from Kathy Barrick, and they've only got one left. And isn't that pretty? And I don't know the name of this one, but it's beautiful. All right, so you need to go step, 
check out Star Stitch Store on Etsy, and I will link that below. <clears throat> and remember, if you haven't liked or subscribed or shared my video, we'd love to have you do that. And we'll catch up with Dolores when she can stay home when I'm home. <laughs> I've got two trips coming up. I mean, it's like, okay. <laughs> She likes to go, so uh, and I'm glad she gets to go, but we do miss her when she's gone. But anyway, we hope you enjoy all the stitching, and Dolores, I hope you come back and see us again very soon. I will. When you ask me, I will be back. She's always welcome. Always. <laughs> it's just when we can get together. I know. She's got a lot going on in, in April. I've got two trips this month. And then she's got trips next month. So we might meet, you know, passing. Yeah, we'll wave at each other. Oh, which reminds me. I'm glad you said that. Okay, tonight we're going to the Sit and Stitch in Spartanburg at the Barnes & Noble. If you happen to see this, we hope you'll drop by. It starts at 3 o'clock and it goes until. Then, um, the first week in April, I'll be going to the Two Tall Stitchers Retreat. Um, I can't wait to meet Carol and Jennifer. And I get to stay with my friend Sue, so I'm really excited. So, um, thank you so much. I really, really am excited I got called off the wait list. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's no designer. It's a no-frills retreat, so that means it's very inexpensive. And I'm just thrilled. So, I'm going to be driving up for that. So, um, yeah. And then after that, we'll go to Stitch West, and that's Biggie. <laughs> So I can't wait to do that because that's with Primrose Cottage Stitches. And of course, I will have shop tours and all the things. So you'll get to see Persnickety Stitches. And haul. Maybe. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> but um, we're, you'll get to see Persnickety Stitches, which is a quilt and cross-stitch shop. Mm -hmm. And you'll also get to see Shepherd's Bush. Really? Mm -hmm. Because we're going there. Several of my friends wow. and I have, are going to meet one of our sweet, sweet friends, Susan. She's going to pick us up and she's going to do all the driving for us. And we're so excited and uh, I, I can't wait. So anyway, until, the, until next week, we'll see you and happy stitching. Be sure and stitch all the things because if you don't start them, you can't finish, finish them. them. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.